bring you this breaking news on this Monday out of China because we now have our clearest sign yet that the United States dollar is in real trouble. We're going to show you what China and Japan are doing this morning. Heck, even add in Saudi Arabia into the mix. And, it, and all of it has me very, very worried about the future of the U.S. dollar and what is about to happen to our money supply. I've been trying to sound this alarm for many, many months on this show. I hope it is sinking in because the data does not lie. Again, I want to be very clear. The U.S. dollar is not going to collapse overnight. Large structures don't suddenly collapse. Cracks and fissures, along with a controlled demolition, bring down large structures. So in this metaphor, the large structure is the U.S. economy. And make no mistake about it, we are watching a controlled demolition. It's all intentional on the part of the Fed and the United States Treasury. Now, before I show you this new data out of China and Japan, I want you to understand something about the U.S. Treasuries. As my grandmother used to say, U.S. Treasuries are one of the safest investments. I literally remember my grandmother telling me this. Why? Well, it's pretty simple. They are issued by the United States government. They are backed by the full faith and credit of the United States government for whatever that's worth. As of this video today, Monday, September 25th, 2023, by the way, happy fall, everybody. The amount of U.S. Treasuries outstanding is more than $30 trillion. The biggest foreign holders of these Treasury bills, Japan, China, the U.K., they give the United States money and then they expect to be paid back with interest, right? So the U.S. then gets its money from China, then can send it off to Ukraine and other places that we love to send our money to. As Senator Rand Paul said this week, it's madness. It's as if no one has noticed that we have no extra money to send to Ukraine. Our deficit this year will exceed $1.5 trillion. Borrowing money from China to send it to Ukraine makes no sense. Okay, but that part isn't news. But the big news is that China and Japan, and now Saudi Arabia, are dumping U.S. Treasuries like a bad habit, like an ex-girlfriend. We just got the August numbers, and they took a huge dump. Many more countries have been selling billions of dollars worth of U.S. Treasuries, and it's accelerating. China's U.S. Treasury holdings fell to just $835 billion. Still a lot of money, but it's a huge decline. It's the lowest in 14 years. And as we've covered here on the show before, China's been selling off U.S. Treasuries for over 10 years. But what's stunning in this new data is that Beijing just sold off 10% of its entire holdings of U.S. Treasuries. Remember, we use the sale of these treasuries to finance just about everything that we hold dear in the United States, from Social Security to all of the wars that the United States loves to launch. This is all interrelated, folks. Saudi Arabia is the latest country to dump a huge amount of U.S. Treasury holdings. Just look at this this morning. According to CNBC, China and Saudi Arabia have been buying up huge amounts of gold instead. Yes, so dumping U.S. Treasuries for gold. So a few months ago, we reported on how this trend was beginning at these central banks. A lot of these central banks were dumping U.S. Treasuries and instead buying up as much gold bullion as they can. Heck, Vladimir Putin in Russia last year made the switch, told his citizens, go out and buy as much gold as you can. And the central bank buying up as much gold as it can, dumping U.S. Treasuries. It's accelerating, and it accelerated in August, just a few days ago. New numbers pushing gold purchases in China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Poland to record highs. So to put a bow on this declining U.S. dollar point, my friend Tucker Carlson just sat down for an interview in the Swiss publication Die Weltfolk. Now, he's been traveling throughout Europe, in the Middle East, interviewing world leaders. He's been interviewing a lot of presidents, prime ministers, sheiks. Uh, it's pretty apparent what he sees, and he sees the writing on the wall. He says the U.S. dollar dominance is crumbling in real time. This is quoting Tucker now in this new interview out this morning. He says, what we in this country refer to as the post-war order, the institution set up in the wake of World War II to keep the world peaceful and prosperous, and the United States at the top of the pyramid. And that would include the dominance of the dollar, the SWIFT system, NATO, and all of that appears to me to be crumbling, he writes. This is my view of it. I've wanted to travel and see if this is in fact happening. And he says, it is incredibly troubling for the future of the US dollar. Now, before we go, I wanna mention an update on a sponsor that I brought you on Sunday, yes, yesterday. Now, because this news could potentially affect their share price in a big, big way. So yesterday, I told you about a gold developer and near-term producer that I'm very bullish on. It's called West Red Lake Gold. Now, I've bought a lot of shares of this company. And I plan to hold it for a long more of this stock in September. 
So I just wanted to share this cap. So you can 